Senior correspondent John Miller is a former deputy commissioner at the NYPD. John, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So how, good morning. Um, how significant a step is this for law enforcement officials? Could be a game changer. You've got to remember that since 1994, crime has been steadily decreasing across the country because of new police strategies and techniques. Um, the only thing we've seen go up across the country, you saw this spike in New York, in Washington, mm -hmm. in Milwaukee, and in San Francisco, was suddenly robbery and larceny. And they, they looked at it and said, what's driving this? And it was all smartphone thefts, and the bulk of it was iPhone thefts and other Apple products, mm. iPad mini, iPads, um, iPhones. And every time there was a new iteration, there was another spike because, of course, everybody wanted to get the new phone. So for police, it's a big problem. So if it's so effective, why are the phone companies so resistant to it? <laughs> Gail, the phone companies, the developers, the Apples and the Samsungs and the Motorola, they're all very good when they figure out something that's either making them lose money, or oh. fixing that and making it stop, or something that's going to make them money. Yeah. They can move very quickly. Um, but in this case, it was kind of uh, an other thing. Not only were they not losing money from the phone thefts, but everybody who had their phone stolen had to go and do what? <laughs> Get another one. Had to go out and buy a new phone. Yeah. So this was not a matter of urgency. And you had Ray Kelly, the police commissioner of New York City, Kathy Lanier, the chief of the police of Washington, D.C. You, uh, you had Ed Flynn out in Milwaukee and George Gascon in San Francisco haranguing them saying, look, the minute you make this phone not a smartphone, but a really dumb phone, a paperweight, once it's stolen, the thefts stop. Because mm -hmm. if the thief can't, mm -hmm. if he can't sell it, it's it, yeah. no good. Why do they not break into cars every night and steal radios out of them? Because the people who make cars and make radios made it so when you rip the radio out, it won't work again. Right. So if it doesn't work, they can't. They have no need to buy it and sell it. Right now, there's another outfit, very interesting group called Eco ATM. This is a machine where you can take your old phone, the machine scans it, and then it'll eat up the phone and spit out cash. So some of the police chiefs can complain. Well, this is just a robotic fence for mm -hmm. stolen goods now. <laughs> I mean, now you don't have to. But the Eco ATM people, I met them at the major city police chiefs conference, and they said, it takes three different pictures of you. You have to give it your driver's license or passport. It scans that. And out of 10,000 phones, we located five that were reported stolen. The big deal here is getting a central database where it lists the stolen phones. And this is a good step for Apple. Thanks, John. Got it. Thank you, John.